Okay, this is a demonstration on how to create a berm in a topo surface. And this is done after you've already split the surface. Um, so I, I'm going to click on the surface that was split out, and I'm going to hit Edit Surface. And then I'm going to place some points. And I will place them at 770 feet 6 inches, because that's halfway in between the two contour lines I have here of 771 and 770. Okay, so I'm doing the base of the berm. And what I'm going to do is just kind of outline the base of the berm with points. So I'm placing points all along the sidewalk here along Maple Street. Okay, and then I'm going to come up to the other side of the berm. So again, I'm just outlining the bottom of the berm. Okay. And notice since I did that, I outlined it at that level, it didn't change the contour lines too much on the rest of the site. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is go back to my elevation. I'm still placing points, and I'm going to set it for 770. Okay, now that I've set the uh, point elevation to 771.5, I'm going to go in and I'm going to trace the outline of my berm. And what I'm doing is I'm setting the base of the berm, the elevation of the base of the berm. Okay. Now I want to set the, the top of the berm. So I'm at 771.6. If I want a uh, two and a half foot high berm, I'm going to set this for 774. Okay. And then I can go in and put points on top of the berm. And you can see that it's setting the top of the berm to 774 feet. Okay. Then I click the Finish Surface button, and you can see the contour of the berm here. If I switch to a 3D mode, okay, I can see the actual raised berm here. I could then go back and, and maybe place some uh, evergreen shrubs on top of the berm uh, to act as an additional sound barrier uh, for Maple Street.